finally here. Hi and welcome to the channel. I am Will, this is What Will Builds, and today we are going to be building the brand new real grade Wing Gundam TV version. Now, this is the latest kit uh, in Bandai's real grade line. This is number 35. I am kind of getting ahead of myself uh, in reviewing these kits just because this is the latest and I want to get it out as soon as possible. But I will be going through and reviewing every single real grade uh, in the main series lineup from number one to number 35. If you have not seen my uh, first video reviewing the real grade RX-78, you can see it up here. It also gives a detailed explanation of how I will be building these real grade kits which will include the sticker decals per the back of the manual. So if you wanna see how I apply my sticker decals, the video will be linked up here. Uh, like, subscribe for more and for more of these reviews. And without further ado, let's get into building this kit. So here we have it, the Wing Gundam TV version in all of its glory and with everything that it comes with. So as I said at the beginning, I have applied all of the sticker decals per the back of the manual. Uh, so what you see here is basically what you can get building out of box uh, using a few Gundam markers to panel line the figure as well. As you can see, I've gone through most of the sticker decals aside from a few of these metallics just because these would have covered up clear parts in the figure and I usually prefer leaving the clear part compared to the metallic sticker that they usually have, unless I'm painting and want to do a um, candy coat effect. I did use the eye stickers though, so that we can get a metallic eye effect, just because I like the lining that that sticker gives. And I used the metallic behind this sticker, since that also gives kind of a reflective effect. Now, this is everything that the wing gun comes with. It is not a lot for uh, these real grades, in all honesty. You've basically just got your buster rifle, your shield, uh, your beam rifle and beam saber effect, or sorry, beam saber and beam saber effect parts, a set of open hands, a set of holding hands, a uh, trigger finger hand, your closed fists, and your base adapter uh, down here. Uh, not too many gimmicks with these accessories either. You've got the uh, buster rifle opens up and you've kind of got these uh, ammo canisters for it that you can pop off and uh, take off and pop in. Uh, you got all three on the rifle itself as well as this little effect on the handle where it kind of folds over uh, but that's more to attach it for the bird mode on underneath the shield here. I guess you could apply that and attach that onto the figure um, when it's in the regular mode, but again, that's more of a feature for the bird mode. Um, then also on the shield, besides being able to attach the buster rifle to the shield, the shield has this cool little gimmick where it opens and there's this sliding mechanism inside to hold the beam saber, which I think is really, really cool and excellent weapon storage for on the figure itself. And then you've of course got the uh, folding little bit here to attach it to the back of the arm on the actual figure. Um, and that is everything that comes with this figure. Uh, not a lot on this set, but it is amazing for what it is. Uh, now let's get into some poses and uh, talking about the figure as a whole. Now the first thing that I want to show you guys about this figure, and of course it's in the name, so obviously it's going to be an impressive feature on these real greats, especially these newer real greats, is this backpack and these wings. Oh, almost forgot to change it back from the transformation. This slides up here so the wings do sit a little higher on the figure overall. So the most impressive thing about this real grade by far is the wing gimmick. So not only do you have full uh, flapping articulation, uh, it rotates at this joint, uh, it rotates at this joint up here, these wings get a full spread. Uh, they have all kinds of little interconnections so that you can fully open these wings into a very, very expressive and very, very cool pose. 
Uh, this is mainly featured in the bird mode, but you definitely can pull off some very cool uh, open wing poses if you open these wings in the regular mode. And as you can see, that is pretty much the full spread that you can get from the wing, and it all folds up again into this form factor being that thin. These wings are impressive on this small of a figure, and honestly, I just get more and more blown away by these real grades every single time that I see them. All right, aside from the wings, there is not too much else super impressive about this figure. Um, it does have a transformation into what is called bird mode or the jet mode, uh, which has the wings fully extended like I just showed you. You kind of move some parts around. It kind of looks like a um, jet plane. I guess that's a feature they put on most of these wing kits, which is kind of cool. Um, not super impressive, not necessarily something you would want to display it in, but still a cool feature nonetheless. Uh, on the figure itself, you do get pretty good posability. You've got a fairly decent head bend to give it kind of uh, like it's looking up while it's flying, if you wanted something like that. Um, you get a fairly decent uh, waist uh, joint here. Part of the transformation has you kind of pull it out of its socket and that can kind of give you a nice uh, bend and ab crunch there or uh, kind of like hoisting itself back if you wanted it in like a flight mode, something kind of like this, angel flying through the sky. Um, Legs get a fairly decent kick range. Oops. Uh, watch for those front skirts. They can pop off, obviously, because they're simply on ball joints. Uh, you get a full kick up to the front like that. You don't really get too much of a kick to the back just because this back skirt plate doesn't really move too much. Um, the back skirt does have this little um, fold down right here. Um, can't really do too much with that. That's mostly just for part of the bird mode as well. Um, I think, yeah, no, you can't hold the weapon back there, unfortunately. So no weapon storage uh, back there. You got kind of like uh, vernier thrusters underneath the feet, uh, as well as on the back of the legs, on the back of the skirt, uh, on the backpack as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for posability. You don't get a full um, bend on the elbow because the claws kind of get in the way down there. Uh, but no, otherwise you can throw this guy into a wide variety of poses. Um, this is definitely a fairly impressive kit for what it is on this wing kit. Now I have not as of yet built any of the other two wing kits. Um, so I can't exactly compare it to uh, those kits. I will show it next to my current build, which is the Verka Wing Zero. Um, but yeah, no, you can put this guy into some pretty impressive poses, especially with that wingspan. Uh, the wingspan is definitely something that kind of blew me away. The form factor on the wings is so thin, and for them to be able to pack that much detail into a figure this small. I mean, this is a 1 1 44th scale figure. Um, I'll show it next to some other figures like the uh, first real gray, the RX-78. Um, next to my wing Vercoss, you can kind of see the scale of that next to a 1 100th scale kit. And yeah, no, otherwise this kit is pretty amazing. Um, is it the best real grade ever? Uh, definitely not, but it is definitely an amazing real grade overall. Uh, very impressed with this kit. I would definitely recommend this for any type of builder, older, newer. Uh, this is just a solid kit in and of itself. Has no problems holding its own weight. Uh, no real flimsiness in the entire figure overall. I mean, as long as everything's pushed together correctly. Um, no areas that really need touch-up work. Nothing you really need to worry about when it comes to nub marks. Um, pretty much everything that needed to be undergated was undergated. And I cleaned this thing up with um, the Razor Plus, which also helped cover up some of the nub marks on the darker blue plastic. Um, not the largest fan of the color scheme on this figure, or biggest fan, I guess I should say. Um, I think the yellow kind of clashes a little bit overall, but I know that these are the original TV colors, so that's um, pretty cool. And I definitely prefer it in person more than I did in the pictures leading up to the release or on the box art. So, um, otherwise, that pretty much sums it up uh, with this figure. So, I guess 
Um, that'll be it for this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks.